Since we are done with the ESXi host deployment 1 and 2, now moving towards deployment of vCenter server. So we cannot directly you know, start deploying the vCenter server. First we need to convert the OVF file to OVF file. If we need to deploy it under the VMware workstation and like the lab thing which I have. If I'm going to set up one. So here is the latest version which we have for the workstation. And if I'm going to open it, we go to the VCSA, copy this one in some of the directory. Okay. Here is the OVF tool also. You need to copy it and then just execute a command which is OVF tool, then the source and destination. Source would be the this one where you have pasted this one and the destination is if like like in my case I have used the both the source and destination the same directory so the OVA file is also in the same directory and OVF going to be converted is also going into the same directory. So I have used this one as a directory and this is a tool. And once we have done that, in that case we are going to you know export this one. So now I'm going to start deployment of vCenter server. So I need to open go to the VC the latest I'm going to pick. Accept it. Next. Now the VC name we can do like I recall that one of one. This is the name of the vCenter server. Picked it. Paste it. 4.1.0 underscore this next tiny that is also fine IP address is going to be IPv4 mode going to be static IP address IP address is a 192.168.11.101 Prefix is at 24, I believe so, right? And the gateway is a 192.168.11.1. Gain is also same 192.168.11.1. FQDN name. So we have the FQDN here. So I'm copy it and paste it here. SSO. So. VMware on escalation VMware on escalation mark system construction the same password VMware VMware upgrade no miscellaneous no network property domain name I'll go with the 192.168.11.1 and the path is lab.lo so I would start import. While it's importing, I'm pausing the video and resume once it's imported. So it's imported successfully and power it on by itself. So there's no action needed as of now on the power it on. And the only thing which we need here, we need to assign the network interface card or the network adapter toward the VLAN which we have created. Okay. Perfect. So under the DC, we must be able to see the pin. It would take some time. I have received the ping. I am trying to access it from the UI. Let's see. So there are some you know background stuff is going on. 
so once it's up the ui would come and we are able to access and then we go with the next phase of installation it would take time so now we received the ping and as well as let me jump to the we see where we left okay so we got the ping and the vc is stable now so we need to access on this port 5480 so let me quickly go there Five four eight zero, and then lower advance VMware loading. Here we need to click on the setup. Next, IP assign. This is a correct time sync with the NTP. NTP we have already saved. Here is the NTP IP. Let me copy this one here. Mm, copy it from there. Here is here SSH activity. Next. This would require internet access on this management IP. vSphere.local then password would be the VMware again the same VMware one exclamation mark and check this one click next finish so probably it would take it would take somewhere 10 to 15 minutes for completion and this is a non-reversible stuff like like if you would face any issue so we need to re repeat the first step first so this is the second stage you can say the stage one we need to redeploy the entire OVA or entire VC so let's wait for to get it done meanwhile I'm pausing the video once it's done I'll resume it so we are almost done with the vCenter deployment and sitting on the 98% so probably it would take one minute or half. Then we can start working on configuring it. Perfect. So it's done. We need to click here. administrator at vSphere.local credential would be the same which we have entered VMware one exclamation mark then logged in the very first step we need to be follow that is a basic one licensing but prior to that we start adding the clusters so we can add the ESXi host then we'll perform the overall licensing for the ESXi host as well as the vCenter.